talk of the town at other side studios hey thank you for coming on um no for those who don't know koei is the single woman behind the talk of the town brand she's a she's an animal she's a machine all the uh <laughs> the interviews the editing the the instagram posts and everything all that right how so how how did you get to i i consider you um like one of the biggest new york blogs i guess underground blogs Word. brands no nah? i was gonna say it's people with more followers than me but like who what new york who, sounds who? like got more followers but they don't do interviews they yeah. do like strictly blog postings so. like we, we were saying before yeah we got to get them up here but like we don't even we can't put a face to the brand like we know who you are yeah i fake wish i would have stayed anonymous though really yeah I'll be, I'll be, they be asking me for mad favors. Yeah. Like people that know me, you know don't like, me. You don't like how you have like a little bit of, a little bit of clout. You know what I mean? Nah, he ran faster than this. We got a fan in the audience. Come on, boy. Right <laughs> yeah, so we stuck here it's today with Noah. Thing. If we keeping this, Noah's here today. Shout out Noah. Shout out Noah. <laughs> Well, no. Um, yeah, wait. So you, that's interesting. So you, you like, where, where do you want to go with the talk of town? Do you like, do you enjoy doing the, um, the interviews and all that stuff? Or do yeah, you like the blogging like, and the media more? I like doing the interviews, but I, I want to be more hands-on with artists. Mm. So the blogs be taking up a lot of time. So I would just like do the interviews and like, if I had like editors and stuff, when I'm working on getting edits, I got like some for now. But if I had editors to just make the graphics of what I thought was different, then I would do something like that. But I'm I'm I like the interviews. I like doing the interviews. Yeah, I feel like um, because we only do interviews, we don't do a lot of the the news shit, and we've talked about it. But I I just want to like right now for the brand, and I think we agree. Like we just kind of want to keep it um like just organic conversation stuff like that yeah but i feel that there definitely is a, a big benefit to doing the news um uh, the news it like is, you know what i'm saying the whole media rappers be mad and it's like it's kind of my job and matter yeah. what rap i don't know because i feel like i'm <laughs> posting about people that are watched like artists well, fans are watching y'all. Mm -hmm. So if I'm reposting something you posted already, I'm thinking it's no issue. But they be like, oh, my headlines, I guess, be spicy. It be like that, though. Oh, no. I, feel I like got to make you want to click it. I got to make you want to read more. That's the point of a blog. Are you a little controversial? Talk of the town? I feel like if we wasn't, would y'all follow them? Right. Like, yeah, they love controversy. So it's like hard. And it's even worse because you don't know the artist. So, like, when you be meeting some of these artists personally, like, you ever met an artist that was like, nah, I don't like what you did this one time? I never met them face to face, but they'll DM me, like, yo, y'all violated. <laughs> like, about what? Like, about what, though? About what? Because I don't bring up names and stuff. No, it's fine, but what do you, like, what can you repost or something, like, or recycle what type of information or content? that they aren't releasing themselves. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this person's just got arrested. You repost it and then everyone gets mad or something because you- No, nah, not like arrest, like probably like- Like beefs and stuff like that? The beef, they do that in the songs already. I don't really gotta do nothing with that. More so like, let's say, uh, it's like, let's say y'all brought somebody up here, whatever, they paid and y'all didn't drop, right? So like, it was rappers that was doing features and not sending artists the features, but taking people money. That's fucked. Right, so they'll oh, hit Oh, you fucked up niggas me. business, they ain't like that. But they made a video though, saying like, yo, such and such did this. So everybody sees the video, everybody's tagging you just the rapper. You repost it, cause that's your job. I feel like I'm Don't doing that more so to help oh, no, I'm from other trenches. upcoming artists, cause that's kind of the point of the show to help upcoming artists. So if you're an upcoming artist and you know that nigga not sending out features, I kind of helped you out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even though the artist is mad, but I mean, I feel I like know, I'm I trying like to help everybody. And that situation, certain niggas be doing it to themselves. 
Like, I feel like if they pay, do it though. Bro, That's paying none the of point these of you niggas. rapping is to get paid. No, not nah, granted. Right. Some of these niggas you could pay them, but it's like, nah, I'm not paying some of these niggas. Some of these <laughs> niggas is really like trunch trunched out like are you dumb so let's let's name like two rappers that's worth paying for for what for two for a feature if you was in, a rapper in new york yeah who would you pay for a feature like right, from i the pay city? i pay stunner because i know i'm gonna get that shit. <laughs> and anybody who i know i could sue them i'm good <laughs> stunner i know i'm gonna get that shit. and i pay busy hell yeah yeah i pay busy well, I mean, I wouldn't, but I, if I wanted to, I would. Yeah. They say I wouldn't, but I well, would. Well, the it. thing is, I think that a lot of artists... Does the price matter, though? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I better get a homie deal or something. I'm from New York, nigga. <laughs> what for do you real, think? Like, what do you think? Uh, what do you think like, a stunt again being a feature goes for right now? We probably want like seven. Seven yeah. bands. With a music video, probably... And I don't think that's like terrible. Dude, no, nah, because you're streaming. investing in their career too. So Stunner right now is just kind of, we were just talking about this as like just starting to blossom as an artist. Yeah, I feel like because he's so heavy in the blogs and heavy on the streams, like his numbers is like up there. Like Yeah. Every song is like three million. He has better. he has mainstream potential too, like his sound and Longevity everything. Longevity too, and he's not too um like gritty, too like hood of because an we, artist. But yeah, I remember because we're from New York and we've been hearing about these artists for so long. It seems like it seemed like they've been out. But you gotta know even though pay, he just what you got here for too. Like for instance, I would never pay Uzi for a feature. Why? Uzi's a dick. <laughs> Have you ever realized any feature Uzi on? Just know he's not trying. Like, what, uh, he just think, made this song and yeah, just my, the song. Yeah, that's that's another thing. My thing is, I feel like if you get paid for it, you gotta try it. Like you gotta put your effort in it a little bit. Of course. And then I also feel like when rappers pay rappers, they feel like goofballs because yo, I just paid this nigga for a feature. Yeah. I feel like you can't think of it like that. I will, I, honestly, I will be honest. Like from a musical perspective, I think it's a little bit like unethical to pay someone for like music is supposed to be like a genuine organic, organic musical craft and if you have to pay people and hold it against them and then get your managers involved and all that shit it kind of makes it it's more business no more. and not yeah not no you know what i mean but I, I from a business perspective i would pay a lot of new york guys the one thing that i personally who would, would you pay for uh, well, let me get to this point because I'll tell you the one thing I would I would pay for a lot of New York artists. I think they're like very talented um, and have a lot of potential. The one thing I to keep in mind is just if I do an artist with one of these guys who is on one side, now I'm I'm kind of labeling labeling myself. So say if yeah. I do a, a track with Dusty, who like I fuck with a lot, then I can't fuck with anyone who he doesn't fuck with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's what a lot of artists have to keep in mind. Like, yeah, yeah. I think I'm the only nigga that don't give a fuck about that shit. I feel like we you won't be. You won't get away with. That. I mean, as far as I nigga, know, you won't I get away with features from both sides. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm getting away with that, nigga. What is niggas really gonna tell me, yo? I you did a song with me. You can't do a song. nigga. I don't care, bro. What do or you rather, mean? like, yo, you did a song with that dude. I'm not doing a song with you. Okay, cool. It's Matty all on that side. Yeah. You're not gonna do a song with me. But let's say I get a little for a song with this nigga. They don't give a fuck. One of y'all niggas gonna do a song. <laughs> yeah. One of y'all niggas I need this. I feel like if if they're truly, truly talented, because we let's act like niggas got beef, but they listen to their ops music. Like exactly. they know them songs. So if a talent if somebody got talent, somebody got talent. Especially if I that nigga not it. and then I'm telling niggas like and then it's it's gonna be weird, but I did ass telling nigga like, yo, bro, you get on my track, bro. Don't be speaking about nobody dead yeah. man. Like yeah. I don't yes. want nothing like and it's not even to say on some scary. I don't want nothing to do with it. It's just like, Be bro, respect I don't know that nigga. So, <laughs> also, my trap, why are you talking about that of nigga? Course. My shit. Also, yeah. it's like now every, everything they say is a reflection of like your career as well. Like, if you're going to put it on your song, you're held, yeah. you know, accountable for that, for whatever the fuck he's saying. Yeah. And then, and then it makes it like dice. Like, why would you release it if you knew he was talking about right. it? Right. My thing be the cameraman though, cause they be shooting wild ass videos lately, doing mad disrespectful shit. Cameraman, like the art, the videos that we seen. Yeah, like, like the video of the nigga at the gravesite, and the nigga uh, shot the at the gravesite. The cameraman grave site. was there recording. Sh Yo, I ain't going front. If you a oh, cameraman, oh, oh, oh. like, can you be mad at the cameraman? No. 
Wow. It depends. Because that's just he edited it for like seventeen hours or however long it took. Oh, okay. I yeah. I all right. I take that. So all right. he, he he never I gave think the no artist, direction. I think, like, I think the cameraman knows that. what he's doing and like is being a dick. But at the end of the day, the cameraman is just doing edits nah. like any other video. It was the artist's idea. There's some of these cameramen know that that really like think they're gang affiliated, and I'll just be like, yo, y'all niggas y'all is be laced. laced. Like I no, like, like, that's how true it is. Like y'all gotta be laced because like no, I gotta start using that. For laced. real, because like. <laughs> Bro, some of these cameramen be having gang shit in their tags. Like, you look like a buffoon. You're a clown. Then, it be cameramen that, like, strictly work with one side. For instance, I'm not going to say no names. I'm talking about, like, personal experience talking to niggas. Yeah. Niggas is telling me, like, yo, we're trying to book the cameraman, and he's not replying to us. Like, Nah, whatchamacallit. I know that some some cameramen have contracts where they can't work with really the other side. Like, like even the underground artists uh, and cameramen? We're talking about like labels. Them niggas ain't under no fucking contract. That's what I was saying. No, not the Punk underground. Ass. I'm talking about like like label, like bigger. Yeah, type shit. Yeah, like in between. But, but like when like you a bigger cameraman, you could do that shit. Like, for instance, what's his name? Like Ryan Lynch or some shit like that. The nigga who be shooting Polo G and them shit. Yeah, he don't have to work with no G nigga in his life ever because he's getting paid. Yeah. Like, so is is it strictly about the money? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, if, all right, well, I, I'm gonna be real with you. If I'm a cameraman and one side tell me, yo, look, here's a contract. <laughs> We're paying you this and this and this for a video. Just don't do a video with them niggas. I'm gonna tell them niggas, like, yo, they came with more money, son. <laughs> is it, it's not personal. But I'm saying, this what is if, my career. All right, what if the artist was trash, though? He's so paying. It's, it's literally about the money. He's paying. Right, it. it's he about paying. Oh, you would do a feature for anybody, as, uh, you know, the trash? Oh. No, we not talking about features. Well, no, I know, but if we if we get into features, yeah, nigga, you meet that. Pro- I mean, if you trash though, nah, I might have to work on the feature a little bit. For instance, like I would just up the price. Yeah, like if a nigga asks me, yo, I need a verse. He sending me his shit and it's whack. I'm a dead ass e- email nigga. Like, yo, bro, I'm not calling that nigga. Email. I'm on some professional shit. Like, yo, bro. I'm be real with you. You this paid me. This doesn't fit my sound. Yeah, but this song is not the one I'm getting on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on, another so one. It's so hard to tell people no, bro. Cause it be people that be asking for interviews too, and I just be like, nah. But yo, it, we just don't get more clout. No, the crazy thing is though, like the more clouded up you get, the worse it get. Like, it was a story with Polo G and Tusi. Tusi, man, stupid though. They was they did <laughs> nah cause what? if you what? hear the story it was crazy. Tuesday ended by himself at the end of the story and oh. seeing the niggas again. But basically he was he was doing the interview and he was like, him and Polo G left a show in like Texas or some shit. Mm-hmm. So they walking out. Some nigga like yo Polo was good. I need a feature. So Polo like I right, twenty bands. Mm-hmm. Nigga like I got fifteen. Polo like my shit is twenty. Nigga nigga puts the fifteen on the top of the car and put out his gun. Hold on, like, nigga, I'm from Chicago. If you ain't going to shoot that shit, why you showing me that shit? I'm weak. I'm like, and it's like, nigga so trying Tusi to bully him. So to Polo? Nah, Tusi and Polo was together. They oh. they did the show together. But Tusi ended up going to some club after the shit with some bitches by and himself. Him, nigga. None of his mans. No security. By himself. Okay. And the niggas pulled up to the club. So he literally went from asking for a feature to threatening him. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Like, the, like make it about the fucking music. I know there's, I know there's other shit that's going on in these people's lives, but that's just fucked. <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, but I would have been weak. I would have been like, yo, bro, like, same thing, same thing. Polo G said, nigga, I'm from the trenches, bro. You gonna back out a gun on me and not use it, bro? You dead ass. Like, I'm Type still shit. not doing the feature. Yeah. Yeah. It just. I feel like you got in this business, bro. You gotta be like demanding about your shit. Cause once you let somebody slack, everybody gonna start right. slacking. Yo, that's a slippery slope, son. I really believe in really that shit. Really though, no, I really real. believe in that shit. For real. And then everybody knows everybody. So you could give this nigga a deal. Now he's telling three other people. Now he has seventeen phone calls. Like, yo, this was this much. It's like, damn, that was one time. <laughs> nah, I ain't giving niggas no deals. I ain't gonna front. I get lit. I'm taxing everybody, <laughs> and that's just me being real with niggas. I'm taxing. Would you like? Do you think labels can um kind of play both sides? Going back to that conversation about like cameramen or us labels can only be playing one definitely. side. Like can labels sign from both sides? I've seen labels that sign from both sides. Because as far as I know, in New York, it's really like 
not. It's really like this, the certain artists. It's, like it's I know so Vok cool. and all his group is yeah. with Atlantic. Uh huh. I know a lot of um the but Chef Vok G. Group at, is mixed OD too. Oh, are yeah, they? it's fake mix. Yeah, it's fake yeah. mix. Like Vok deadass is not one of those niggas that be on some. This is like, one side. One I feel side. like everybody on Vok crew is like. They're not direct ops, but they might know the ops of the ops mm-hmm, and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, like so it's like, ops, ops. yeah, it's not like, like, I don't even want to say names and shit, but it's not like direct ops. Yeah. yeah. I've seen labels that signed it like direct ops. Yeah. Like, and that shit is, I don't, I don't know. About Imagine that. being at a label meeting with your ops. <laughs> well, what I, of, what, I, what I think of, what I think of is like award shows. Nigga. Like I think of like imagine being at the Grammys when all this COVID shit's done. Do y'all think that the Grammys will get like ghetto like that though? No. Nah, the Grammys is rigged. Like, well, not the Grammys, but like BT Awards. Let's say. Nah, them once niggas these is rigged artists too. start getting bigger and bigger no, and bigger. No. What will happen is the. Oh, sorry, I didn't interrupt. No, nah, say it. What I think will happen, it like, for the last however many years, these award shows are very very, um, high production and like very professional. Always the red carpet. Mm-hmm. And the outfits and everything, it's whether you're a, like a rock or Matter opera fact, or this or that. Yeah, everyone comes like dressed the same and very formal and everything. No, they'll Even be dressed if, up like Nicki and nah. Cardi still fought at the. Yeah, whatever, I was about to say it's still it's kind of yeah. Not, it was the Met Gala. Wasn't yeah, they it? fought they fought the Met Gala ball. Really? As far as I know, I see every like no matter like, who you off, are, you off, stand up and you fucking flaunt and like no one can see. Offset is dead ass like super GD like. Oh, I saw the Migo shit when like, they. Offset is dead ass <laughs> mad GD like. Didn't he do a video with somebody? He did a video with some folk nigga. Same GDK or something. Nah, Offset would never say that. That nigga is dead so ass. So that was Quavo or somebody. I don't know. Offset is dead ass folk though, and he be at the Grammys with Crip niggas and all that. But my thing is, I don't know. I feel like. You gotta be a certain caliber to do that. Offense is Snoop is cripping here yeah, every every fucking show. Yeah. It's like these niggas though, it's and like And YG's blood. I don't see them like bumping. Exactly. Ass. It's like why but why invite these underground people for what? I mean, some people are gonna be at crossover to mainstream though. But all right, Finn, all right, you think Chief Keith is mainstream? No. You're capping. Chief Keith is fucking mainstream as fuck. Mm. Well, no, I I I mean, dude, he, like he has an incredibly successful Career, I've been to his constant stuff, but he, like, okay, I, so, I, I wouldn't so, see him at a Grammy award, probably. But no, he made a video about, about that. that. What? What he said? Like, yeah, he made a good video about the Grammys, like, a minute ago, though. Like, a minute. He was like, nigga, I don't even want to go. They're going to fuck my bitches. They're going to take my money. Like, he like, what am I going to the Grammys for? I don't want to say that. No, you should definitely want to ever go to the Grammys. But <laughs> I think that... Wait, who's going to fuck his bitches by going to the Grammys? What nah, you... I ain't going front. You go to the Grammys, you bring your regular bitches, they see niggas like Jay-Z and shit. You're oh. done. <laughs> You're done. Oh. You're done on the walk in. Like, you walk in there and it's like, there's over 50 Let's... niggas here richer than you, nigga. Yeah, niggas going to yeah. slide their number. Bitches yeah. Bitches going with shit. But nah, I think that it's... What is, what is the... What is what does success look like? Like, what is... You said a mainstream artist. That's what you said. Mm-hmm. What is it? Who's a who? What's a mainstream artist? Pop. Like what makes a, what makes an artist mainstream? Um, okay. What I would say is like radio plays really big. Spotify playlists are really big, and then like sponsors and like like your branding, which is what we want. We were talking about. So we went on live before, and we were saying someone asked like talk about branding. branding. I think in New York. These artists lack branding more than anything. Like, yeah. there's so many fire artists of really good raw what? sound, no brand whatsoever. They're all just like, this sounds super disrespectful, but they're all just like the same looking like guys from the hood who come from nothing. You know what I, if that makes sense? Yeah. Like they don't. They don't. Yeah. I, go ahead. I don't know. I could fake disagree because speaking about popping, I know a lot of people's gonna get tight. Like, I know underground artists with way more money than pop. Like. Pop was mad mainstream, but it's like you mean like money like before he died. Yeah, like I feel like success is really like how paid you are. I mean that's just no. me. You don't think success I'm is how paid you are? How no. paid? For, oh, you wildin', nigga! I came from nothing. Oh, no. I want to get paid. <laughs> no, I want to get paid. So if Fuck you that. just had a familiar face and you was broke, like well, who do you think are the most paid? Yeah, Bow-Wow. I wouldn't Bow-Wow. say he broke, but nah, I wouldn't say Bow Wow. He's a familiar but, face. Yeah, Bow Wow's a familiar face. He he's not he's, mainstream no, no more. No, my my point is, you go mainstream and the money follows. You don't just like make the money. Like you have to, if you want to make the most money, you want to be the the big 
Like, we, we, bro, certain people was getting paid more for like, shows like, than these than these label deals. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, like Jack Harlow and Drew, we were just talking about them. Like, they become very mainstream. They're getting a bigger check. I than, wouldn't say Drew Skizzy. But my thing is... Well, yeah, he's not even... I don't know what's Drew's not... But he's... He's paid, like, though, He's like, getting crazy sponsors he, and stuff like that. But he is paid. That's what I'm saying. Like... That's why when to you say- me he's not mainstream. To me, the the nigga Drewski is. Oh, I think he's mainstream. Not mainstream, but for me, it's like it's just, it just depends. Cause some niggas are happy just to make it out the hood, like T right. Grizz, like T Grizz, and yeah. he's like ain't, he made a tweet because they was like, "Yo, you ain't been on the charts in years. You washed." He was like, "I'm still not in the hood though." Like, mm -hmm. so some niggas is just yeah. happy to be of course out of whatever situation they're in. Yeah, T Grizzly was from shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, what's mainstream? Cause you have niggas that stream crazy, like Nicki Minaj streams crazy, but she's not on the radio. Well, she's not anymore, not. but she used to. Are you kidding me? Nicki Minaj ain't posted Instagram post in months. In months, and she's well, still. Well, no, listen, about. she's she's in a different part of her career. Like you remember, ten years ago, you wouldn't, you couldn't go two seconds without. All right, that's an Minaj. example. She it's was mad, very like um, Pooh Shiesty was super lit on the streaming tip. Now he's mainstream yeah. off that one song, but he got mad songs that mad songs that streaming, mad numbers. So that's what I'm saying. It's hard to decipher. I don't even feel like Pusha is mainstream. mainstream. If you want to be, I, I, I wouldn't he say he's mainstream Jimmy either. Fallon, and I he's, like and he's paid. Yeah, he's getting there. He's getting there. The like, Coilerae is getting there, bro. And they're paid. I would be but in their situation and comfortable there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm not saying. Life. I'm not saying being being mainstream or being super famous equals more happiness or success. I'm just saying. I don't know. There's certain. Uh, also, another thing is, I like going back to branding. I think branding is really, really, really big. Mm -hmm. If you want to gain the liking of um, everyone aside from hip hop, like drill is, it, drill is like, like the pinnacle of like hip hop, grittiness, rap, all of that. Trap rap, all that stuff. Yeah, thing. and then go a little bit. No, I like trap rap better than drill. No, but I'm saying drills though. Drills the hardest shit. Yeah. Go a little bit further out, maybe like it's like the trap, maybe like a little bit of the stuff you hear on the radio. Then further out is like pop and shit like that. I'm saying the drill artists and rap need to follow a path like Pop Smoke, a path like maybe like Stunna Gambino starting to where they're they're like they're putting down the guns and they're not showing them on the cameras. They're putting down um like like they're they're they're, they're displaying. No, 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 He's not that mainstream. Young boy? Oh, I think oh, I said YG. Oh, I was I was saying you're lazy. Okay, but yeah, look for example, young young boys are mainstream artists, but he barely on the radio. He shows a gun in every video. You I I don't know if, I don't know how mainstream he is for that reason. He has songs with Nicki Minaj. No, I know. I, uh, all right, we're we're we're, we're um. That's what I meant. We're like, messing up on the term mainstream. That's what I'm asking. Like, what is mainstream? Like, yeah, what to is your you? definition of mainstream? That's can what I be? I'm I think a big difference is like, but like. Where a household I'm, name yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. Like, I know people... Like, I'm kind of in tune with hip-hop now, just being around you and the podcast and everything. But, yeah. like, my friends from back home who are, like, at colleges and stuff like that and in frats and stuff like that, they won't know Pooh Shiesty. They won't know Young Boy, really. Like, you'd be surprised. And that's... I think I have a little bit of a perspective that a lot of people don't for that reason. But I don't know... If that equates to mainstream. I just know. Mm -hmm. I just know who. So you think mainstream is based on the demographics? If you could, could touch be. every demographic, but, could but be. Yeah. you could you could argue that because it's like I wouldn't tell them change their music. It's just like like change it's, their, it's, the way they pr they present themselves. Cause for instance, Roddy Rich, he's mainstream as fuck. fuck. Yeah, and the only reason he's that mainstream, Roddy Rich, stayed the same. Cause he act stopped really promoting. He was crip. Exactly, he did. That's mad, what I'm saying. But Shit he like did that. mad features, bro. And now you're That's wild. big too. And every one of his songs, he he, he says some crip shit. You gotta really listen, but like. Okay, he did Marshmallow, DJ Mustard, like that's why you hear him. Yeah, facts. I feel like they should big, branch big, out. Big, yeah, uh, branch big out. like features and cosigns are big too. So oh, like I'll say artists cosigns. like um, like Trippy, Juice World, um, Those. Ian Dior, Bill Nas X, guys like that, like. Nah, that's too poppy. That's too poppy. For, for instance, right. little baby, <laughs> little baby. That's a prime example. Right. He yeah, he touches all demographics. Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause he's cause he's fucking like swaggy and like has that hood respect. But he's also now you don't like you won't you don't see him like like I don't know how to sound like even the baby. Right. Yeah. 
The baby has like fucking charges and a bad past and shit like that. That nigga slaps fans. <laughs> like, yeah. he be wildin'. But, but now, but, do you understand what I'm saying? But now, like, like his whole presence, his whole image so is so different. So my thing is with the mainstream is like, are they mainstream because the music or are they mainstream because they're popular online? Um, I'd probably say the brand starts to become more important. Mm. You know what's a good Maybe question? Maybe 50-50, I don't know. Do you think... And this is me being real. Like, do you think these artists are mainstream because, like, this is what they're thinking of? Or their label is pushing them to be this mainstream? Because, for instance, I don't think a lot of these artists, like, for instance, I, prime example, I I don't know, but I definitely don't think Roddy Rich knew who the fuck Marshmello was before he did that song. I feel like, Could be. like, a lot of these artists, their label is pushing them to do that. But I feel like it's also trusting the label. I feel like a lot of artists sign shit that they don't even nah, trust or believe do, in. Though. That's hard. Niggas do that. If this nigga say he got a mill for you right now, you don't know nothing about this nigga, and y'all don't even build a relationship before you take the M, you kind of just signed over to a nigga you don't know. He don't know much about you. So y'all trying to push your career when he doesn't know anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It would be hard. So I feel like it's also the relationship with the label and the artist because he had to know the type of artist Roddy Rich was to even make, oh, let's set up this collab. You get what I'm saying? Cause 4 2 Doug did a song with Marshmello too. Yeah, so. And who that shit was crazy. Like, 4 2 Doug, if you ask me, he mainstream as shit now. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. I still find that kind of hard too because you got to look I, at it like these, these labels, like, they'll give you a six for a nine. Like, They'll make you think, yo, let's take him out to a nice dinner and shit and all that and still rip you off like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll get to know a nigga so personal. But, he, but here's what you have to understand about, about labels. Whether it's like malintentioned, whether they have their own bank accounts in their mind or they really care about the well-being of the artist, doesn't fucking matter. All they want to do is make money. So when they're signing an artist, they're making strategic decisions that'll better the career of the artist. Like, that's it. So... Mm -hmm. Maybe they're going to fuck over the artist on the contract side, but all of the shit they're telling the artist to do, work with this artist. Yo, like, get the the strippers and the fucking so, gang shit so, out of your so, music videos. Do this, like, change your image to this, this. They're just doing that to make more money and to get more mainstream. So you saying that even if the label's ripping you off, they're still trying to make you a better artist? Well, not better. They're trying to make the most money. They're I know, but you just said that, um... What you just said? You was just like how... If they telling you to do that, it's gonna be better for your career. Yeah. Well, but it's better for your career, yes. But they still taking the money. Yeah. You know well, what I'm I mean, I don't, I don't. That that comes down to like the the deal itself. I don't really know. If if you're smart enough as an artist That's to sign a good deal. So like, if if the label is taking like let's say eighty percent of the money, but you getting like artist development, you're getting features and shit like that. Would you be okay with that? Yo, the crazy thing is, Boosie did an interview about that too, and I mean, me personally, depending on how much is the deal, yeah, I'm good with that. And depending on how, how long, long is it, it is. Because he has, sorry, I keep not saying it. You have a persona as well that you can make money on brand deals. Yeah, I have common sense. And this and that. Like, that's, <laughs> that says a the lot. label will just take sense. streaming. Yo, but you, you can go of, touring, shit like that. A lot of artists, though, be shy. Like, I ain't gonna find an interview with mad artists, and they were shy. Right. You see, and, and that's another thing. You go, bro, you got to speak up. Like, I ain't going to lie. A label ever give me a deal, any any business move I ever made, I spoke my mind. I'll be the first nigga to tell him, like, nah, y'all niggas on some weird shit. Like, <laughs> y'all not getting me with that. Like, I don't care how professional y'all want me to be. If y'all going to sign me, y'all going to get the real me. It has to be fair. You need, you need a fair deal. Exactly. So if you're going to give me 20%, 20% for how long? 20% for two years? I, I could do that. Y'all give me a, a right. wavy ass sign up bonus. That I could get out the hood mm -hmm. with. And a chance to, to get in the door with... Yeah, two years? These... Hell yeah, I could do that. But these niggas be, what, five, ten album deal? Like, <laughs> bro, like, you dead ass. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do this that I long. I've been looking like, nah, y'all niggas got me fucked up. Y'all got the wrong one. Yeah. Um, but, so, why? I, I feel like you disagree with me fundamentally about, like, the branding. So, would you would you agree or disagree that... A lot of these New York artists lack proper branding and No, I agree. I agree, but I also feel like a lot of these art New York artists are shy. I feel like they're not camera ready. They're not media trained. They're not, you know, don't have that knowledge to know, okay, if I do this, this will happen. I'll do this, this will happen. I feel like they really don't know. The, the crazy thing, me and him speak about this all the time. Not even in just that aspect, but just as in uh 
a recording aspect. Like we'd be recording, he'll tell me like, "Yo, change your pitch or some shit," and I just get louder and shit. He yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah, like I need tone training." Like I feel like a lot of these artists aren't it's so ready raw. to be They're so to be raw. famous. Like mm. yeah, like. They like, and it's sad to say. Cause and that's the thing; it's no like artist readiness boot camp. You just gotta figure it out as you go. Right. Yeah. Uh, so he <laughs> for, the, for the baby. Here's a uh, an, in, an interesting case, and I know you're familiar with Vox. So if you could give me any of his insight, that'd be cool. But two two G's. So I've seen interviews with, with him, and he was on Genius and stuff like that. He has a great persona, I think. Like he mm -hmm. always has a smile on his face. Like. Good, like a good look to him with the hair and everything. Um, is well spoken too. Like, mm -hmm. um, his shit with uh, with uh, Najee. No, the Funk Flex when he did that freestyle. freestyle? Like he's just really yeah. He's, show him he's just very good on his on his mm -hmm. feet. Um, how is he not more marketable? Like how is he not like his? If you ask me, his image in 2019 looks the same as it do, does now. Mm. Like how is he like his his career, if you ask me, hasn't really um progressed too much in the last two years since he dropped No Suburban Part Two mm -hmm. and got the funk um Flex Freestyle. Flex Freestyle and the genius interview, stuff like that. I mean uh, I feel like what with an artist like him, it's like when all odds is against you, you're gonna do what you know. Mm. So because everybody's rooting for him to lose, it's like should I switch it up? And have like more haters, or should I try something different and possibly get? I don't know. It, it's probably hard, cause like you think he's just being. I feel like he's doing what he knows. I see. I feel like once you know something, you're gonna do it until it can't be done no more. Then mm. you have to try something else. So I think they're just gonna ride the wave until it it's no wave no more. Yeah, you think he can get like some pop features and shit like that? I mean. Who 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 would you want to see him like like with like uh, just like a, a pop singer who who will get him on like a verse type of thing? No. He's not My about. My thing he, is who though. Who that. would you want to see him with? Yeah. Um, I mean, it couldn't be someone fucking huge like Selena Gomez, but it, like some some like pop artist that. I'm be real with you. I can see him with some pop artists. Like I can see him with Khalid. I feel like Khalid could work with anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Khalid could work with anybody. He's Worth. that nigga. He'll like, make that song. Yeah, that he. Song. They'll make a good song. Yeah. But my thing is, it's just like one, like how I said earlier, the labels have to do with that, cause, bro, he's no. not gonna just. Bro, he's the not, labels don't have to do. He's not gonna DM I Khalid. I feel like Khalid you as a, a label in the in. You as the label, you as the manager. Lit, yeah. <laughs> no, you, no you, you I make, feel like you, you, you as the, the label, you as the manager, you pushing the artist as much as you can. So if all the labels keep saying no, they don't want to collab with this one artist, it's like, what the fuck is the management supposed but to do? It's like, why do you, I'm being real and it's not all black bowling shit aside, just me as if I was a label, I wouldn't sign to to either though. And that's just me being so real. Cause it's like for what? Because he has so much potential. He's but talented. Remember, okay, like, everybody, he's, everybody has potential. He's streaming though. He's so lit. Everybody, the best part. Everybody in New York is streaming. I want to say the best part about Tutu is he has his own following. Feel me? So everybody at Jacks that shit is following him and supporting him and rooting for him. But it's still not you enough people. If you get, if you ask it's me, it's not enough. But it's consistent. At least he don't ever have to worry about losing fans. True. It is consistent. He's, he's the only one holding it down. But then it's well, like more coming now. It's consistent, know? and then there's drama behind it. So it's like, all right, cool. You got a fan base. What am I gonna do with you? I I got you and now. And I also feel like that's probably why he didn't switch up because the fans are so loyal to that sound. Now, if he switched it, then they might not be as loyal, and he might not make as much money. You know what I think? I feel like he should switch I, it. I honestly feel like switch he should. Up. I feel like. And this might sound crazy, super dangerous. I feel like you should put yourself out more. Like, yo, bro, a lot of these Brooklyn artists, I feel like that's their problem. That's it's, it's, it's their mindset. Yo, Even me, like, I don't like partying. I don't like clubbing. They have like, to move. So like, you have lie. to. You have to be around these people. Yeah, I which I get. Which fucking sucks for your career. But I get it. That's most important. I ain't gonna lie. I blame Instagram Live because yeah, you can see so much of our New York drama on these IG lives. Yep. Some niggas, oh, wasn't that the nigga on live that was doing this? And no, they don't want to fuck with you now because they done saw a live you did with another rapper. Like, niggas be going live with their ops arguing. But that's clown niggas shit. Niggas go live 
showing grips. Niggas go live doing mad dumb Clown shit. Clown shit. Why are you doing that? So it's that? like. Because now it's online and so many people could just Google it and see all the dumb shit you done did in the past. Yeah. It's like, damn. And I find that so dumb. But it's not just for two, it's for all the artists. Nah, and I, that's why I feel like New all of them are not going nowhere doing that shit. Like, that's so dumb. Like, it's so dumb. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't like I don't that shit either, bro. bro. Y'all niggas are, most of these niggas are fighting cases. And they're on live with guns. So how, you, so how y'all feel about upper class? Because he go live with the artists and they tell their stories to him. Well, I, I, well, I'm very familiar with upper class. But what is like? What do you mean they tell their stories? Can't be real. Upper class, I don't know too much about, but I hate the CC show. I don't get that shit. Like niggas really go in there to, to politic like they females. Like they like. It's kind of the same shit, but just for Brooklyn people. That's, I wouldn't say exactly the same shit. That's weird. Because upper brands itself way more than CC does. I fuck with upper a lot. I like I I enjoy his content. I, I hate when artists go live with him though. Wait, what is, why is it like? What is he? Because they just telling all their business. Yeah, like any controversial live, Shit. I don't like it. Yeah, I, I find that so homosexual. How, though? Like, talk like about if something beef, happens, like, me and you got a problem. I go on live. Like, oh, and they like name wrong. drop and shit yeah, like, like that. Like it's not really name drop. It's like. He he lets all the artists just tell every side of their story, which is a good thing. I feel like we do that. No, that's not. We it's don't, not. It's good, but it's not good because it's public, and now the fans yeah. think they know more. Now the fans are now antagonizing artists more. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So, so it's like uh, instead of the artists and the artists that got beef calling each other to talk it out, hash it out, they'll tell their side on upper, and then he'll tell his side on upper. Now the fans is watching this live, and as, it doesn't work. Because if you For ask me, me, that sounds like it would work. It, it does, don't work because the always fans. is wrong. So now the or fans are like, you're wrong, the whole story. now fuck you. Yeah. It's like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, I think it's a lose-lose for both artists because now fans are more into your shit and now they can like either not support or pick sides or kind of paint it a persona on you. So now Brooklyn fans are painting a persona on you based on your live and not your music. Yeah. So I don't know. If any anybody can tell you, I don't go live. Like I find that so <laughs> weird. Like, and when I do go Unless live, it's like business for the other side and shit like either that. Either business or like I'm really like, and I, I feel like even that's the really point bored. of interviews. If you want to talk about some shit, do an interview. Do a well. That's what Upper's doing. No, like he's not nah, interviewing art. Nah, it's not really interviews because it's because it's over IG live. It's not really interviews because it's not about you. An interview is about you. Uh, he just go live about whatever topic happened. Yeah, yeah. like. Yeah. So, how did sorry? How did Upper get to that point where he's like kind of like the moderator for New New York Drill? I don't know. Yo, like, bro, if you tune into Upper OI like old YouTube. That nigga been doing this shit. Yeah, I ain't been in tune that long. I'm yeah, not gonna lie. I've been in tune because Upper Hood is not too far from mine. I told you the same right. shit. He did a song with somebody from my hood. Yeah. I, like, I heard about Upper from Costamato. Yeah, like he used to make videos about like Chief Keith and them niggas, um, like Chicago beef. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> he was why? all this before he got to New York. Yeah, like, he was on some Chicago. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Who follow, is follow this nigga? Drill to UK, then to New York. Yeah. That's hilarious. I mean, well, at least you know he's the dead ass Drill fan because. Yeah, because he's been doing it. Been watching it. What do you think of him as a um as an artist? Like, you think no. he. Because he, he wants to push himself no, as an artist. I ain't gonna lie. I don't listen to it. I never heard. Yeah. They be telling me to listen, but. I told him. For me, I want him. I not say, I feel like he should pick a lane first before branching out. Interesting. Mm-hmm. You don't think what so? What would you? So, because Kwani makes music and we do podcasts as well. What would you advise Kwani to do? I feel like Kwani is goaded though. I'm just letting <laughs> niggas know. I do not sound like no, upper class. No, like I'm not saying you. Kwani is not as involved. Like we said, up is going live with these artists. He's doing reactions to these artists. And then still trying to drop his music on the same channel as he's doing the other shit. It's oh yeah, not I would separated. never drop my music on the other side. Like I find that like so slum. Like that's like well, cheating. not slum because y'all started this together. That's just nah. him. Oh, you wouldn't so. do that to get more views. I would never do that. I would never. It, it's gonna miss. Would it's you gonna mix, would you, would mix not, up the brand though. Yeah. Would, would you not me. use other side for never. promotional tool? Never. I would never go on other side. Like yo, my mixtape just dropped. <laughs> I would never do that. Ever in my life, like that doesn't make sense to me. But it's different for Upper because it's just him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like for him, it's just his brand, and he's doing all that stuff. So yeah, he's sharing yeah, yeah, all that yeah, shit yeah, on yeah. his brand. But I just feel like you should separate it. I see. 
Interesting. Like I'm sure Quad got his own logo and the other side got the yeah, own logo. Yeah, I got my Delinquents logo and all that. Feel like, me? So it's like you're separating it. Yeah. Because you want them to not see it as both. You want them to see them as separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what that's why I say that. Cause for me, I was doing before I did Talk of Time to Love in Brooklyn. Um before I did that, I was doing interviews. But I wasn't like on camera, I was behind the camera. So for me, Koei Productions is like the production thing. So me trying to se- separate Koei Productions and Talk of the Town was like mad hard. What's the difference between Koei Productions? Koei and- Productions is strictly production. Like it's all about producing like content and producing, helping artists produce and level up themselves. Yeah. And Talk of the Town is strictly the blog. Like it's I strictly see. the interviews. So stuff. like, what's your goals with Koei Production? So my goal is like I want to sign artists to production deals. So I want to. I want to help artists get their production together. So my goal is to like, if I sign an artist to a production deal, my goal is to help you polish yourself as an artist. So whatever, whether it's visuals, whether it's pictures, whether it's branding, like that's kind of like, I want the production. So um, I want to give you an example of an artist and I want to hear what you do with them. Okay. Uh, I was going to say that. Eat out, baby. Because he, he, will you agree? He has a sick voice. Like, like he is like, he, is one of probably the most underground of like the good guy. Like, like he's the crazy part is just he's young too. It's oh, a is lot he of young? Time. It's a lot of time to work yeah, with. Yeah, I just interviewed Edot. He don't act like his songs, so he's mad calm. And I person. think his songs. What does that mean? Like, the, like what? as in he's not as aggressive. Yeah, and as rah rah as his songs. So it's like I would if I if I was Edot, I would do more interviews to show your personality, to show like I'm not this mean ass. Ignorant, badass kid, I guess, that y'all seen in the videos. Would you but... tell him to not do that in music, or would you? I would tell him not to diss no one, but I feel like the young lyrical drill is kind of like, it's working, but I would tell him less drill music, though. Hmm. But he don't really, he said he about to switch it up, though. But do you think he has the potential to switch up? I would have to hear it. Because if, yeah. like, if I had a chance to work with anybody, yeah. and I say this all the time, like, and I could help in any way would be Drizzy. Drizzy Giuliano. I did mm-hmm. invest in Drizzy Giuliano. I feel like Drizzy, I could see that. Drizzy yeah. has a freaking, he has a story behind him, bro. Yeah, story, He's a smart, look. It's like, a look. That's a nigga like you want to see him win just because you know so much about his past. Yeah, definitely. So it's like, damn, I want to see that nigga win. But I also feel like Drizzy has to, like, just polish himself in the sense of remembering you are the brand. Mm. I feel like he's he's in the streets, of course, but I feel like, damn, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, yeah, I don't know how to explain Jersey either because like he should be more lit. Like, I, he, I, I actually, he has a lit persona too. Can I be honest? I think Drizzy, the, the thing that might be lacking for him might be the music. I think he's talent. I think he's talented as fuck. But like, he has the branding. Like, For it's me, pretty. It's pretty it's on point. Just, it's just not commercial. Like, I feel like yeah, commercial yeah, yeah, is yeah. gonna be. Commercial is gonna sell more. It's gonna get picked up faster, or some type of gimmick, or some type of market, or brand, right. or niche. I don't know. Everybody, every artist has a niche. I don't have a niche for Drizzy. He could do a lot, right? But I wouldn't know like to pinpoint Actually, him. Do as you know the, what TD is? Um. With uh, like, um, um, was that J-, J Cole shit? Kendrick. Was that Kendrick or J? What's the what? No, not, not J I D. No, nah, Top Dog Entertainment. Is that that's J Cole shit? Oh no, Top Dog is Top Dog Kendrick. Um, what's J Cole shit? Dreamville. With Dreamville. Thank you, Dreamville. With um, Jid. Yeah, J I D. Isaiah Rashad. Isaiah Rashad. Oh, Isaiah Rashad. I'm I'm mixing them up. Yo, Boz on that shit. Uh, Boss, Kaz, J.I.D., J. Mm. Cole, um, uh, Ari, Ari Lennox. Right. Ari okay. Lennox. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. That type that of, cool. um, I don't know what you'd even call it, but more a of group, like. A brand? A label? No, no, I'm saying that type of music, that type of brand, like where it's hip hop, but it's a bit like alternative almost. I could see Drizzy's, maybe not his music, but his persona was that. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Nah, them niggas is too feel good. Jersey been through some shit. <laughs> like, He's not, too tough for okay, him. so my nah, not even my, too tough. my thing with Jersey and why some people say they don't really listen to him is because it's too deep. Meaning, like his music is like very 
in his story and about his struggles, like sometimes we don't want to hear. Sometimes we do want to have fun. I think Stress, Drizzy, stresses you out. Yeah, Drizzy <laughs> don't have a fun song. I feel like he just needs a fun song. Like, what Drizzy song would you play in the club? A lot to say. But like, is it? It's just still. I don't Actually, know he was playing us some unreleased shit that was and the shit with Nick Bucks. Yeah, that, the yeah. shit with Nick Bucks is fine. Tune into that. That shit is fine. No, it's no. I it think, just came out. It just, yeah, came, it just out. came out. I've seen it. I've I think it. he's starting to. He's starting to change. My thing oh, is to transfer into that. My problem. Well, I feel like what I would do with Jersey personally, I would stop targeting all these young, ignorant people because they won't get it. Mm-hmm. I target an older demographic. For instance, like my mom won't sit here and listen to AR. <laughs> but she definitely Ooh. would sit here and listen wow. to a J. Cole album. Right. It's that's that's it's what I was getting at. But it's, yeah, Kendrick. It's because, like, yo, they've been through the same shit that. Per- like, and yeah. don't get me wrong, Drizzy but is it's young, also but harder to life. transition your, your audience because you remember your fans are the people that's been following you since you started. So they're growing with you. So a lot of his supporters are his age. You know but nah, but like. If you a real same thing, a boogie say all the time. If you a real fan, you gonna fuck with whatever I do. I fuck with everything a boogie do. I don't. Care. It's no wrong. Even and, his female drama. Yeah, there's no wrong. Like, and I'm not gonna say like I'm a a boogie diehard fan. It's just I really could relate to everything that nigga say. So it don't matter what how he say it. If he say it, I get it. Even the female drama. Okay, Ella, you wanna be free? I'm posting condoms. Go a boogie like. Wow. I'm with Mr. it. Mr. Go a boogie. I hate I'm niggas. with it. I support him. You what? You I it's you some shit I can't support, bro. Wait, what did, I missed that. What did he do? No, I said I can't it's like if an artist do some out of line shit, I can't support it. What did they boogie nah. though? That wasn't that he out of line. That wasn't super out of line, but it's artists that have done like I wanna say cause shit. when Little Baby did the fucking Magnum commercial, nobody said nothing about that shit. And that was right yeah, after he got a joke. Yo, the nigga got caught cheating and did a Magnum commercial. He got caught fucking a porn star and did oh, yeah, a magnum yeah, yeah. commercial. That's crazy. He had, he had a kid. He had a kid. No, 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 no. He had a magnum on. Oh yeah. Commercial. <laughs> it's all proper Come branding. On, like, <laughs> super branding. But that's the I mean, artists wouldn't even think about shit like that. This is what I'm trying to show you. Like I don't know, but I feel like the production shit and all that. That's definitely a. Uh, I don't want to say uh, open space because I think it's a better word to say, but like you could definitely make a killing in that shit. Nobody's really trying to help these artists. Yeah. And that's the thing that they mainly need. Like they yeah. they need somebody to tell them, yo, you look dumb, take down the fucking live. <laughs> yo, I wish I could. There, there, there's like two things I would say. Cause that like that's what that's what I love to do. Like I'm in I'm in music business. I love to mm-hmm. develop artists and see them grow and right. help them make money and shit like that. And I love the New York drill scene. Like I'm like infatuated by it and all these artists. The two things I'd say, one is obviously like the safety concern. Like a lot of these guys are I'm beefing. Yeah, are beefing and you can't, can't get too caught up in the day, the day to day stuff because then you get attached to it. Yeah. And you have to keep it strictly business. So there's a bit of a, you know conflict with that. Yeah. And then the second thing is a lot of artists I feel are um not open to uh criticism. Like I'm saying like not even really like they open to criticism. They're not open to change. Yes. Especially when I'm like I'm telling like I've had a couple of artists come through where I've where I've been I've t- I've tried to give them some advice like trust me you should probably do this this or that but they see it as like a nah like this is my roots I'm like I'm hood like this is me <laughs> I'm not changing who I am and I'm like no 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 that's fine like I respect that you have like loyalty and respect from your upbringing me, but like you have to change like yeah but they just gotta I, see you know it I mean? to believe it I, they just I, gotta see it to believe it I, I do Where? get what you mean but it's like those artists aren't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Every artist that is going somewhere is an open-minded person. But you cannot listen to everyone, and that's the thing. Yeah, nah, that's another to thing, too. Because, for instance, Ross, like, same shit. Like, you be telling me sh- do shit sometimes. I just be like... This, that's not who I am. It's not even that it's not who I am. It's just like... I tell him to I sing. I know it's going to sound better than... Like this, like I like, tell him to sing, and everyone says it sounds really good, but he's not comfortable. No, no, with no, no, it, no, so. no, no, no. I'm super comfortable with it now. <laughs> now I am like, but. That for me to point. be a singer, like, but nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, I don't, 
I don't want to be one of these niggas with a shirt off with the wind and the fucking <laughs> AC. I'm not doing none of that shit. Like CJ. It's not. That's not for me. It's CJ. Not, it's not for me. Because what I think they trying to make CJ a sex symbol. That's what I think. CJ. <laughs> I swear CJ to God. CJ is a sex symbol. Yo, but my child has never him. My child has never been sex symbol. You no, saw he's a bad bunny I feel the like the week? way that they're branding him, they're trying to make him a sex symbol. All he's his, not. Uh, can all I, his all his pictures be shirt off. All his pictures. He won't be. be uh, he won't be. I don't. I. I think. We did a whole top 10 and all, everyone fucked with me because I put him really high. I don't think he's going to be too successful as an artist. I think he's going to be really successful as like a Latino model. personality. Yeah. A model actor or some shit. He'll get crazy all placements. Right, that's like Little Yachty. Like, but I mean, Yachty is nice. Little Yachty's but, he's, yeah, but he is the Latin market. Um, uh, oh, yeah. Guy. He has that on his. his he has that as his And it's nobody so that like. I feel like Latin supporters are like diehards. Like, they, don't, they don't give a fuck yeah. about like, yeah, all, like, like Latins and Haitians. They still supporting 6 9 after They just care about like good vibes and all. Like they don't give a I fuck go about the I feel like that's the two shit. biggest demographics if you ask me. Latins, Latins and Haitians. Haitians. That shit goes really? so. I don't know. Bro, <laughs> if you're in the industry and you speak Creole, the little do y'all know that like I'm telling you. I feel you, like if you're in the industry and you speak, and you speak another language, period. Bro, you say shit. Market. Bro, all of them Florida niggas is Haitian. You speak Creole around them niggas. Bro, you got a let's, let's not do that. The Florida niggas is ignorant. That's why they so lit. Haitians is ignorant. Some of them are, but they it love each other. It ain't because they Haitian. But they love each other. Nah, it ain't because they Haitian. They lit. They just let's ignorant. Let's be real. You go to a little Haiti in Florida, you start speaking Haitian, everybody fuck with your music. It don't matter if it's whack or no. not. For instance, I'm going to give you a prime no. example. Boz. I don't know if you know him. No. All right. Well, it's an artist named Boz, right? Okay. And <laughs> yeah, you think he's a good artist? I don't know. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of weird because the song is in Creole, and I don't speak Creole. But if you know me, if you you heard me answer the phone like so I said, "Pull Boz earlier." Like any Haitian person I get on the phone, with, I'm answering the phone like that. But like his streams and all that, his he dropped one song. It was like a Haitian drill track. <clears throat> he got songs with Pop Smoke, Favi, all that. Uh, one like song. Skepta? One song in Creole, not English, in Creole. Everyone's like, where are these streams coming from? <laughs> and it's like, yo, why? But it's like, yo, that Haitian shit really go yeah, far. Yeah, like, yeah. I wouldn't say it's the Haitian shit. I, say, I would say it's the being bilingual. I feel like yeah. it's Spanish people that try to do Spanish stuff on the drill stuff. Like the AAA boy, ain't no... I don't know his name, yeah. but I see your point. Though. But you get what I'm saying. So it's like they are. He's trying the the Creole shit on the drill. Now he's gonna try it on the reggae. It's kind of just seeing like what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. True, but I feel like that bilingual shit is a stamp. Cause this one thing to say, it is yo, a stamp. That's it's, like getting a job. If I speak two languages, I'll get the nah, job. Nah, but like I don't feel like if you're an artist and you speak two languages, this the, the English shit don't work. You're gonna try another language. I, but, so I right, for instance, Ji. Like we gonna use Jay as an example, and this is oh, what I mean is by he it. Spanish. No, J niggas ain't know that. When Jay, I was strictly rapping, it's like, I the black people fuck with him, a couple people fuck. Once he got on a Spanish track, speaking Spanish, he had to find what was gonna work for him. But I'm though. just saying, like, I feel like that language shit is a stamp. It's one thing to be a Spanish rapper and be like, yo, I'm Spanish. Niggas gonna <laughs> look at you like, alright, cool, you Spanish, alright. You, you you get on but a Spanish hide, track, speaking Spanish. If you hide Spanish, it, get lit, and then tell everybody, you're like saying? Cardi. Yeah. I don't feel like all the Spanish people was behind her until she made that Spanish track speaking Spanish. It was like, oh shit, I right, she she official. Facts. I forget she which one, but that shit went crazy. That yeah. shit went crazy. Yo, once you start speaking, it's like, ah, right, you're not just saying you from here. You really are from here. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit is stamp. Damn, I'm blanking on that fucking song. No, I'm bl I don't know the Spanish song with Cardi. Cardi. I don't know yeah, I don't any know of these people's you. Spanish songs because I don't speak Spanish. Because I don't know this shit. I know it's this one kid I'm listening to. He can't. He's Spanish, but it's not in Spanish. Some parts in Spanish. His name is Amaru Cloud or something. Oh, I thought you meant Anwal. No, nah, he I upcoming. He's upcoming. I'm probably saying his name wrong, but he got like Spanish, like drill, smooth mm. shit though. This is like. Matter of fact, you know who else? Who else like that? And he, he's lit now. Well, not really lit, but he kind of is. You ever seen that show um, where Cardi B and them was the judges and they was going to help one artist? Yeah, Hustle and Flow. Yeah, Hustle and Flow. The guy who won it, the guy with the dreads. Oh, uh, D-Smoke. D-Smoke. Mm. Remember, one of the main reasons, because he was bilingual, he started speaking Spanish. He dropped one of his first tracks 
and the Spanish community yeah, went crazy because yeah, like he was really speaking Spanish on that shit. Damn. Like, and he's not Spanish. So y'all yeah, think if these drill niggas can speak another language, that niggas would go crazy. But <laughs> but no, but like for instance, that different language should really go fuck us. Puerto be Suvi Mission, Suvage. Super that's super Haitian. Super. That's that's Creole. Oh, that's when Chef G be making songs, he be like, "Don't give me Fashe. Fashe is furious in Creole. It's like, mm. you 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 gotta know how to play with the peoples, bro." All right, I, ready? Mm -hmm. Let me take that logic and try and explain it like this. Okay. When these drill artists are starting off, it's almost as if their language is that drill language, mm -hmm. and then if they want to go. Like, like we were saying, from the English to the Spanish market, mm -hmm. if you want to go from like the hood, drill, terminology, that market to the mainstream market, you have to change your, you, you know what I mean? You change your terminology. You be like, does that make yeah. sense? Like similar to, an, uh, to uh, an English artist going into the Spanish community, it's like a drill artist going into the mainstream community, if that makes sense. It's, it really is like two different languages, two different ball games. It is two different ball games. So why do you think guys like Stunner got mass successful? Because um, it's not drill. Actually, by the way, I gotta show love to Quan. He he showed me him like really early, yeah. and immediately shout out crew editor. He as well said like, yo, this guy's gonna go, like be yeah, all like in. early early Stunner. I'm like, yo, I know he's gonna be lit. Well, heartless, right? Yeah, nah, even no, before, um, that, before, before that, before that, before that, rivals, rivals, rivals. Yeah, like oh no, rivals that. was first. Bag. This is what I'm saying, like, bro. I don't know, but Stunner got lit, but I swear to God, if Stunner make a song, and let's just say like just the chorus alone is in Spanish, that would be Stunner's biggest song.